Today, you will learn 10 handy tricks that every painter or DIY enthusiast can apply during painting. So if you want to see these useful painting tips, be sure to keep watching. <laughs> Number 1. When you're painting and need to place a ladder on a wooden deck, use some beams that you secure behind it. This way, your ladder won't slip away. Number, Number two. 2. If you have a ceiling with peeling paint, but the rest of the paint won't come off, carefully remove what's loose with a putty knife. Prime the affected areas with a primer for porous surfaces. Then, touch up the spots with exterior filler. Once the filler is dry, you can sand it smoother. Follow up by priming the repair areas once more, and then applying a coat of exterior latex paint. After that, you can repaint the entire ceiling for a beautiful finish. Hey, if we haven't met yet, my name is John Aidens, and through my channel you will receive very useful painting tips to ensure you avoid any mistakes during your DIY projects. If you want to be able to paint your own house and save money, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed. I'll try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Number 3. If the railing brackets are dirty with old paint, soak them in warm water. Then, sand the edges with P220 or even finer sandpaper while keeping the sandpaper wet. Ensure the sandpaper is wet and you can restore your old railing brackets to nearly new condition. Number 4. If you need an extra hand while painting, use a hook on your belt. This way, you'll have your hands free for painting. Number 5. Secure small parts and screws with a piece of tape and attach it to your subject. This will make it much easier and quicker when it's time to reassemble everything. Number 6. When applying fiberglass wallpaper over screw holes that need to remain open, mark the holes with a pencil beforehand. Then, make sure to open the markings after sticking the wallpaper, and you can proceed with painting. Number 7. When using synthetic brushes for water-based paints, avoid cleaning them with hot water. Always use cold or lukewarm water to maintain the brush's integrity. Brushes with hog bristles can be cleaned with warm water. Number 8. If you're applying wallpaper around a corner, let it extend the width of your pencil through the corner. You can then paste your new strip into the corner for a neat finish. Number 9. To prevent excess paint from dripping down this corner, I've placed a small piece of tape under the door. If the paint does drip, the tape will catch it, and it won't end up on the doorstep. Number, Number 10. 10. I'm using a quick-drying French plaster here. It's a model plaster. I'm mixing a very small amount, so I don't want too much water in it. That's why I put some water in my mouth and let a few drops come out each time until it reaches the desired thickness. Before I show you one more very affordable bonus trick, please let me know below which tip has appealed to you the most. Give me a thumbs up if you find these tips helpful. If you've had a leak, you can isolate the stain with an insulation spray can. Check if the stain is gone after one application. If not, do it twice. And when the stain is gone, you can apply your own paint that you already had on the ceiling. Want to know how much paint you might need when painting a wall or ceiling? Watch the video that appears in the middle of the screen. There, I'll explain a method on how to calculate this and provide you with useful tips if you ever want to paint wallpaper. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up to support me. I'll see you in the next video, where I'll teach you much more so you can save money.